So this is the last video of the Mate desktop series and it was a very long week concerning covering all the Mate desktop in major distributions and we finalize it now with the Ubuntu Mate which is the flagship for Mate desktop where all the features and all the lead developers are working on to perfect the Mate desktop through Ubuntu. So here first off we we need to have a welcome application here where you have all the things that are coming in case you closed it you go to the menu and you search for welcome and here in the welcome screen i already pinned it to the favorites menu you can also pin it in to desktop i suggest that you always put this welcome screen because you have all the things that need to be found can be found in this welcome screen so let us double click it and if you notice here the green ones the get started is very important there's also the donate also is very important to keep this project alive and so that they will give us more uh, features there is the software boutique with the community and there is the desktop layout let us look first at the getting started so here a lot of things are happening here the first thing is the updates and extras so if you click it you go to the software updater so you get all the updates before running there is the additional codex in case you missed it in the installation of Ubuntu mate because there is a, a radio button in order to click it in case you didn't click it you can also install it here there is the DVD playback additional screensavers there is additional themes the themes that are available are very nice you have the Yaro theme is very nice but in case you needed some more like Numix and Arc because Arch Linux you will see all of the in Arco Linux for example you saw the Arc theme you can also install it from here and the additional community wallpapers I already installed it because I wanted to check all of the wallpapers that, have, that are available from the community and this cat or tiger is the one that I chose from this community the drivers in case you have a problem with the drivers you can read here and install the firmware packages for the ones that you need maybe the Wi-Fi maybe the Nvidia drivers all of them they are included here I need to go back language and input if you are in another language you want to support let's say Chinese Japanese Korean you can also directly click it from here optional tasks if you need to do an a backup so like the if you wanted to do a backup like the, your home directory and you don't know how to use the terminal you can use this backup strategy in order to back it up it's very nice and you can use it also for the firewall if you want to enable the firewall or you want to configure users if you notice all of them can be done from this welcome screen the customization if you look at the customization there's the control center we will talk about it and the system specification it will tell me what are the specifications of my computer let's say it is Ubuntu the kernel is 5.15 there is 2.7 gigabyte in my virtual machine I put 2.7 gigabytes the storage there is 26.8 I used 13.6 which is too much for a distribution but of course because of the snaps it will be much greater so that's basically it you can have a lot of things here to customize the other thing is the software boutique the software boutique is, is nice it cata uh, categorizes things if you want to install some software let's say for the education it gives you a small GUI with a information about all the items that you can install some desktop games graphics internet etc and you can search from it from here let's say I want to search for OBS studio which includes also some third-party repositories it will tell you this this is this software isn't supported by Ubuntu but you can install it the OBS studio not all applications are present for example Caden live Caden live is not uh, is not available or sometimes now it is replaced in this version I don't know in another version it will be it is replaced by shortcut so not all the software are included and this is a negative thing for 
software boutique because there's there need to be another method other than the terminal like synaptic in order to install software but luckily here you can install synaptic you can install synaptic and through synaptic you can install the software because if you notice sometimes you need to install curl and curl is not involved uh, available instead of going to the terminal to do apt install curl you can go to the synaptic and check all the other things that you need to install the other thing that we'll talk about is the boutique new news which gives all the information let's say for 22.04 what are the things that are added you can look it up and what are the things that are removed the only thing i didn't like about the boutique also is let's say i wanted to install shortcut and if you look at the details they give you the platform the video production and they don't give you the version number and the edition what version is shortcut they don't give it also this is not a i hope they add it in the future okay so the last thing here is these three why these three because if I look at browser selection you notice here Firefox is installed and this is the snap version if you don't want a snap version you can install the ESR which is great you remove the Firefox snap and you can install the ESR in the terminal it is sudo apt install Firefox dash ESR and if you like the other software like Vivaldi or Opera these uh, and Brave they, the, they have they are not free and open source but you can install them also through here so it is very cool to have it like this changing the theme if you notice here the theme there is the custom and there is the Yaru theme all the Yaru themes are present which is very nice if let's say I want to pick this one okay this one is nice and afterwards you can customize it you can customize here there's the controls there's the window borders if you want to change the window borders and also for the icons you can change the icons and you can also change the pointer okay and if you notice here the there is this uh, accent color which is like this which is also very nice so this is for the theme and finally we go to the desktop layout if you notice there have the four major ones are familiar mutiny redmond cupertino and the others are similar similar layout so this is the familiar we have two the panels here the mutiny is the one that is very nice and looks like unity this is very very nice also you can use it there's also the redmond which is always you need to reload the brisk menu because we are using the brisk menu this one is like linux mint what you saw in linux mint you can also uh, have it this is what you used in linux mint the cupertino is the one very let me reload the one that is very similar to the mac os setup and there's also themes to go with that so you can go uh, uh, on the internet and get the theme so you'll have a very similar mac experience so let us go back to the familiar or if you want there is the traditional the traditional is the one you see in fedora the one that i made the video about is the fedora with the, with the, uh, with the, with the theme fedora with the theme with this menu which i like if you don't like this menu you can go to the familiar because they are now using this brisk menu utilizing this brisk menu so that's basically it if we look at the desktop here if you right click you can resize the icon let's say you want one of them to have an icon very big like this you can have it and of course you can uh, rename it to a space so you'll have a very nice icon here you can move it into whichever you like so you pick a certain icon you can put it it is as if you have a an image inside your desktop okay enough of this let us talk a little bit about the panel and in the panel I right click add to panel 
I will go to the application launcher. This is what I like to add in the application launcher. I go to preferences. I go to look and feel and I add it all. So what you will have is you'll have a menu with all the look and feel available for you, which is very nice. So let us start with this, uh, this menu with the appearance. So if you notice here, the appearance, I already talked about it. You can also get more themes online, especially if you wanted the Cupertino theme. If you notice, I installed the community edition through the welcome screen. So you'll have to, you can choose whichever background you like. Let's say you wanted the other one here. Or maybe this one. But I like the green one. I'll pick this one. Okay, and for the fonts, of course, they are using the Ubuntu fonts. All Ubuntu, also for the terminal, and here for the show icons. So this is for the appearance. The indicators, these are the indicators that are available here. If you don't have the indicators here, you can right click, add to panel, and go down and check it, indicator applet complete. So this is the indicator applet. In this one, you can change the session, date, sound, power, messages, notification. Let's say you want to show your username on the panel. You right click it, so it gives you the username. If you want, let's say, to remove the restart item from the menu. If you notice here, there is a restart item. If you want to remove it, you can remove it. Let me remove it and it will be removed. So it's really handy and really customizable. So you don't need even the terminal to make any anything. You don't need any config file. This is the beauty of Mate Desktop. No need for terminal unless you want to tweak some things and see how it goes. So this is for the indicator. There's the main menu. There is the Mate tweak. Uh, this is the important thing. Mate tweak. Show desktop icons. You can change it from here. By the way, the Mate Tweak is very important to have. That's why also you need to include it. Maybe you put it here, pin to desktop maybe also, and maybe pin it to the favorites menu. So now you have Mate Tweak here, and you have it also here. So this is also very important. The Welcome and the Mate Tweak are the most ones that are for tweaking your system. So we look here, show desktop icons, home. Maybe you want to add the trash. So you have the trash here. And the mountain volumes. Looking at the panel, you can change the panel that you saw before from here. So if you wanted mutiny, you can click mutiny and change it. Pantheon, Redmond, or the traditional, the one that was found with Fedora. And after you finish all the settings here, you can save it so that you want a combination of the two you can have it from here looking here also the enable dock of course this one is for the plank if you want the plank or you don't want the plank it is up to you enable hud this is also i don't know if it is usable or not but it is for let's say if you want to have library office and you want to search inside the menu you use the alt key in order to use it i don't really like it but you can also experiment with it you open it uh, you enable it and you open a application you press alt you will have the menu you can select from it enable pull down terminal this is very interesting and very nice to have it's like the scratch pad if you press f12 you will have a terminal another f12 it will go out let's say you want to update the system and you don't want to see the terminal again you remove it you come back it will be also you can see the status of what the terminal is doing another thing is the enable keyboard led also if you have led on your keyboard for the windows you have uh, enable animation if you have a not a good system or you, you don't have any resources you want to disable the animation so you you will have more resources for other tasks so you can remove it from here enable window snapping if you want to snap to 
left to right the windows control is on the right it is on the right side if you like it on the left with the menu so you have the left and the menu is here you can click the menu or you can put it left alone without any menu and you can access the menu with the right click high dpi you can auto detect it's good to have it like this fonts and the window manager as we saw before it is Mar marco with the comp compositor enabled and you can pick which uh, whichever you want from this marco what i didn't like about uh, this uh, system is that if you install a window manager, it will not be apparent here. For example, I already installed ISWM. In Arco Linux, it, it was here, present here. But here in the system, it is not present. So for example, if I go to F12 and I press ISWM dash dash replace. If you notice now, I am now in ISWM. I am now in ISWM. But here in the window manager it did not have it if you look on my video on Arch linux or the others all the window manager are available here maybe it's a bug in the ubuntu mate i don't know but it is not apparent here so that's basically for the mate tweak let me go out from iswm and marco dash dash replace and the last thing we will cover is the control center and if you notice here the control center it is available here I click it this is the last one that you need if you want to customize your system fortunately most of them they are included in the look and feel and the others this is for the look and feel it is available here for the personal which is available also in the welcome screen also the hardware it is also available in the welcome screen so if you don't use the welcome screen you can come here to the control center and use all the of the information the last thing i will talk about is the compass if you notice in the fedora and in linux mint they used compass here ubuntu mate did not want to use the compass because in ubuntu compass has is not stable enough linux mint they put a remark that compass is not stable in in linux mint and also because here we are using ubuntu it is less stable but if you like compass you can install it also in ubuntu you just put on the terminal and install the following so you can install it with sudo apt install compass compass config dash settings dash manager and compass dash plugins dash extra so you press yes okay it's installed so we go to mate tweak we go to the windows here you have compass and we need to go to the settings compass settings manager just to check it we go to, let's say wobbly and this and let's take the water effect and compass is working fine i don't know why they did not include it because maybe they tested it too much and checked that it is unstable with some things and that is that will end everything on ubuntu mate finally and to be honest i really liked uh, mate desktop i even liked it more than xfce there's a lot of things you can tweak there's a lot of things you can change it depends on you you can tweak it with all the, th the settings you can remove marco you can install another window manager you can install uh, have fun with the compositor you can do almost anything with the mate desktop although it is old and uh, traditional but they have included some brisk menu some items that make it a little bit appealing for the new users so that's it for today and we will be back next week.